Those two guys will be Kurt Angle and Chris Benoit having a steel cage match in the main event. I got to say one thing before you recap this. Two things. Number one is Vinny recaps his match here. I want you all to remember that one of these men won an Olympic gold medal with a broken fucking neck. Right. And one of them is working this match. And by the way, after this match, has had two all-time classic Raw matches with a current broken fucking neck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The other thing I got to say is Steve Austin is the fucking greatest. Oh, my God. He was so, so on fire. So they start wrestling, and Benoit throws a chop, and Austin goes, I hate those knife-ass chops. I bet he does. Benoit gets thrown into the cage. He says, that's what he deserves. <laughs> because that's the worst thing that you could do is deserve something. And then Benoit gets beat up, and he says, I think Benoit's crying. He's whimpering like a little baby. Makes me sick. So he wants to belittle the guy for crying like a baby. But he also wants you to know that when he cries like a baby, it disgusts him. <laughs> all match long. And the match is like an all-time classic. So yeah. it's made even better by having all-time classic commentary by Stone Cold Steve Austin. My favorite Austin line is actually before the match starts. He comes out to doing the commentary desk, and he starts ripping it at JR. Don't give me that look, he says. So Jim Ross looks away. And Austin runs his mouth a little bit more. Notices Jim Ross has turned his head. Look at me, he says. It's awesome. This this three man crew with with the kiss up, Paul Heyman in the middle. Yes, is so fantastic. Yeah, Austin is great at everything. It turns out. So the match, it's awesome as you may remember. It, it's famous I, I, for what happens uh, towards the end. It's famous for the moonsault off the cage. Yes. Right. But the fucking headbutt off the top of the cage from a guy yeah. with a broken fucking neck. Yes. What in the... Well, I know what he was thinking. He was out of his mind. But he wasn't yes. thinking. That was insane. He was insane. So the first half of this match, actually, is just them suplexing and chopping the holy hell out of each other. And it's wonderful. I hate those knife edge it's, chops. It's just wonderful. And then, yes, about halfway through, uh, the first big spot is Angle goes to climb out, and Benoit grabs him, and they're, they're on the top rope, but not in the corner, like in the, against the wall of the cage. Mm -hmm. And after a long struggle, Benoit finally sees German off that top rope. Dude, when they set that up, I thought, first I thought, no way. Then I thought, well, they're fucking nuts, so they're going to do it. <laughs> but at least, like, Kurt Angle will flip over and right. land on his stomach. Oh, no. No. <laughs> he got Germaned off the top rope right onto his upper fucking back and neck. And also landing on Chris Benoit's face in the process. So then Angle comes back, hits the Olympic slam, starts to climb. Austin's begging him to go for the pin, doesn't understand it. And they say, no, he wants that moonsault. And Angle gets to the top rope and stops and looks back. And he looks up. And he hasn't done this before. Now it's like cliche. He's got, oh, he had to do this in every cage match for 20 years. But he goes to the top of the cage, and no one has ever seen anything like this. And he gets up there, and with no hesitation, he just launches his body up and out, and Benoit runs for his life, and Angle goes splat on the mat. God. <sighs> Dude, I don't know how this guy didn't die. It was so he almost fucking did. brutal. Yeah. If I recall correctly, he screwed up his knee. Of course he And just did. kept wrestling afterwards. That sounds like a Kurt Angle But thing the craziest do. thing about this is, this was the transition into Benoit making his comeback. Yes. This was not the finish. <laughs> yeah. This was not directly leading to the finish. It's like the exact Angle, halfway point. <laughs> Angle has the heat. He misses a moonsault off the top of the cage, and this fucking guy jumped. He nearly yeah. kills himself, and Benoit gets to his feet and starts his comeback. <laughs> and he's whipping Angle in and, and, and the comeback killing him is, with lariats and Germaning him all over the place the, after the, a fucking moonsault off the cage. The comeback is nine German suplexes with the crowd counting along. Yes. So Benoit goes to climb out. Now Austin doesn't want Benoit to win. Austin grabs a chair, so Benoit's trying to escape the cage, but Austin is there with the chair to block him. So Benoit says, oh well, and he turns around and does the diving headbutt off the top of the cage. Complete insanity. I can't believe that didn't kill him legit. Yeah. With a broken neck to do a diving headbutt off the top of the cage. That's how he hurt his neck. Remember he did that? He yes. fell off through the table outside and his head snapped back. Yes. What do you think happens when you come off the top of the cage onto a fucking dude? Bad for your neck. 
So Benoit tries to or go out the door. Austin blocks it for a while, and eventually Austin slams the door on Benoit's head. And Angle gets up. Austin's still outside the door. Angle wants nothing to do with him, so Angle scurries out the other side to win. And yes, Jericho and Benoit both lost in the show. And then Austin beats up Benoit with a chair some more. At least Benoit lost in like an all-time classic and was fucked. Whereas Jericho... Jericho lost a nothing happened in three-way to two dorks when somebody stole the pin. Jericho was a job. Come on. Benoit lost to a former world champion at Kurt Angle. Jericho got pinned by Rhino. 